Hello people, I'm Mike and in this video we're going to learn um, how to solve the simultaneous equation using matrices, okay? So without missing words, let's try hands on, on the question on the board, alright? So now, we're to solve the simultaneous equation using matrices, okay? So the first thing we have to do is to write this one in a matrix form, okay? So we're going to write this in a matrix form. Let's do that. So, we're going to have... The coefficients of x and y, 4 and 7. And we have 3 minus 2, okay? Then we come to the values of x, the unknowns, all right? That is x, y equal to, we have here to be 13, here to be minus 12, all right? So now, we can say that this is A, this is X, and this is B. So if I'm going to use an equation here, it's going to be AX equals to B. Now what we're looking for is the X, okay? So we can make the X a subject. Now we'll make X a subject. We're going to have here to be the inverse of A, okay, times B. You got it. So the inverse of A times b. So the next thing we have to do is to find the inverse of a and we'll multiply that one by the values of b to get our x. All right. So that is it. This is matrix and it's very simple to solve, you know, this kind of matrix. You understand? So the first thing we have to do, we're going to find the inverse of a. And that one is giving us one over the determinant. Okay. So one over the um, determinant, all right? So let me put like this. So one of uh, the determinants of A, all right? Now, we're going to have something like this. One over, so the determinant of A is going to be four times negative two, which is negative eight, all right? So negative eight and minus, so negative eight minus three times seven, which is 21, okay? So that's it times uh, a now we have to um swap the the positions of the the four and the negative two so we'll bring the negative two here and we'll take the four to the side then we we'll negate the seven and the three so here is going to be negative three negative seven all right yeah times the b so the b is still the same 13 minus 12, right? So now we're going to multiply this one by that. You know, this one is one over, that is negative 29, yeah? Great. Now I can decide to multiply everything by it, but then I don't want to do that because it's going to be a little bit complicated. So I'm going to multiply this one, okay? And after that, I multiply this one by that, you see? So let's do it. Now this one will give us one over minus 29, okay? Yeah. Now let's multiply. Negative 2 times 13 is going to be negative 26. Then negative 7 times negative 12 is going to be 84. All right? Then negative 3 times 13 is going to be negative 39. Then 4 times negative 12 is going to be negative 48. All right, so now we simplify everything. We just have to do the simple addition and subtraction. So negative 12 plus 84, all right? Negative 12 plus 84. Negative 12 plus 84, what you having? We're going to have um, 58, yeah? So 58. And then negative 39 minus 48, when we pull them together, we're going to have minus 87. So, minus 87. All right? So now, we're going to multiply this one by that. We have 1 over negative 29 times 58, negative 87. All right? So now, this one times that. We multiply this one times that. 
we're going to be left with negative 2. And then this one times that, we'll be left with 3. Okay? You see? So, therefore, our x, our x, which is x and y, is equal to negative 2 and 3. Are you there? That's it. Therefore, x is equal to negative 2 and y is equal to 3. That is the answer. So we've been able to solve this simultaneous equation using matrix. Very simple. So when you have something like this, the first thing you have to do is to write it in a matrix form and you find an inverse and the inverse is 1 over the determinant of A. This is the determinant of A, which is the same as 1 over negative 29. Then, like I said, to make it simpler, just multiply this one. So, okay, when you do this multiplication, after that, you're going to be left with a very simplified form. Then, you just solve it. After that, you multiply by the um, inverse, and then you're going to arrive at your values, okay? You're going to get the values of x and y. Very, very simple. If the video is helpful, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, I'll urge you to do that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.